for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of g plus 10 story building model with the help of the friction pendulum system by using etap software in my previous video i was explaining the complete concepts related to the rubber based isolation system by using etap software in this video i will explain you uh, how to define the friction pendulum system as per the base isolation concepts okay so go to click on the etap software initially firstly i will show you the model which i was already done for the modeling process and i was applied the load cases for this building structure okay now we can see this is my g plus 10 building structural model so for this building i was defined the material properties which is comes under m30 grade concrete and hysd bars of 500 grid steel okay again in the same process i was taking the frame sections which is having the beam size is 0.3 cross 0.46 and column size is 0.4 cross 0.46 okay so in the same process i was consider the slab thickness which is comes under the uh, around 150 mm okay so after uh, applying all the load cases which are comes under the gravity loading condition system and lateral loading condition system we need to define the frictional pendulum system okay so in frictional pendulum system we need to enter the data again in the same process of rubber based isolation system like linear properties as well as the non-linear properties but the values will be differ for the respected condition system okay so for that go to click on the define option section properties option select the link support properties option okay so in this initially we need to add the frictional pendulum system so for that click on add new property option so here i am giving the name is friction f okay in the same process we have to select the link type option to friction isolator not rubber isolator here we have to enter the friction isolator so firstly we have to enter the u1 so again we have to select the u2 again we have to select the u3 with the non-linear case for the u2 and u3 so click on the modify show property u1 okay so here we have to enter the effective stiffness value as per the considerations of the uh, loading so the effective stiffness as per the standards is considered as 150 lakhs 150 1 2 3 4 5 150 lakhs okay again in the same process we have to enter the u2 direction values which is comes under the stiffness values again we have to enter the values comes under the uh, effective stiffness values friction coefficient values slow and friction coefficient fast value and rate parameter and net pendulum radius okay so these are the important values so here we have to enter the value of the stiffness value these are the standard value you can remember this values for your models okay so effective stiffness value is 70 and this respective stiffness value will be 1500 and this uh, slow coefficient value will be of 0 0.03 Again, in the same process, uh, fast coefficient value will be comes under 0 0.05. Again, this respected uh, parameter will be of uh, 40. Again, in the same process, this respected last parameter, net pendulum parameter is 2.23 value. Click on OK option. In the same process, we have to enter the values U3 direction. So, which is comes under this uh, value is 70. Again, in the same process, we have to enter this particular value is 1500. And this uh, slow factor is 0 0.03 and the first factor is 0 0.05 and this respected uh, rate parameter will be of 40 and this last parameter will be of 2.23 value okay click on ok option again in the same process we have to click on ok option so now we have to select the link one property click on delete property option click on ok so again we have to assign this particular uh, property for the base okay so for that initially we need to define the spring system property go to define option spring property select the uh, point springs option here okay so click on add new property option give the spring name here just i'm giving here as friction f letter okay and we have to add the direction link property axial direction so here i'm adding the direction which is in z direction which is comes under the link property name is f option click on ok click on ok option so now we have to select the uh, uh, plan view which is related to the base for this particular structure click on apply click on ok so now we have to select the one story option select all the node points at the base so click on assign option joint option springs section select the f section click on apply option so that it will apply the friction pendulum system for the base click on ok option initially i will show you the friction property isolator so go to click on the elevation section select any one of the elevation click on apply click on ok now you can see it was done with assignment of the friction isolator here like this for the base section here like this okay 
Now we have to do the analysis process after applying the frictional pendulum systems. Go to analyze option, click on check models option. So here I am only checking for the joint checks. Click on OK option so that it will show you the uh, warning message. If any kind of the warning message is obtained, then it will show you the message. Otherwise, it will show no warning message. Go to analyze option, set load cases to run. So click on the run now option. Okay, so that it will do the analysis process for this particular structure. Now you can see it was done with analysis process. So initially we need to see the shear force diagram, bending moment diagram. Go to display option, forces option, select frame spandilla, select shear 2 to option, click on select your respective load case as per the consideration. Next I am taking dead load, click on apply option. So that it will display the bend, uh, shear force diagram, click on moment 3, 3. Click on apply option so that it will display the bending moment diagram. In the same process I am selecting the torsion. Click on apply option so that it will display the torsion diagram for the structure. So now after analysis process is completed we need to design the structure. For that firstly we have to unlock the model. We need to add the grids for the slab sections. So for that go to edit option here. Click on uh, add edit grid strips option. Click on add edit grid strips. So here we have to select the 10th story x direction with the strip layer is A. Click on apply option. In the same process we have to add the grid strips for the y direction with strip layer is B. Again in the same process we have to apply the grid strips for the remaining stories. Now you can see I was applied the, all the grid system for the respected uh, different stories from the 10th story to the uh, ground level story. So after that we have to do the analysis process again with the help of the grid condition systems. So for that click on the run analysis option again. So it will do the analysis process with the considerations of the grids. Then after that we can easily design the frame sections which are related to the beam section, column section as well as the slab sections. Now you can see this is the deflection diagram with the help of the uh, grid direction conditions. So now we have to design the beam. Go to design option, concrete frame design. Select the view revised preferences. Select as per IS456. Click on OK. Again click on the design option, concrete frame design. So click on start designing check. Okay, So that it will start designing check for the beam sections, column sections under considerations of the design specifications. You can see here it was done with all beams and column section design. So after that we have to design the slab section. Go to select the slab designing section. View revised preferences. Select as per IS456-2000. Click on OK. Again in the same process we have to select this option. Select the stories. So for simple understanding just I am selecting top 3 stories. But you have to select all the stories for this consideration. Click on OK. Click on the design option. Click on start designing check. So that it will start designing check for the slab section for the top 3 stories. Now you can see this is the slab designing values for the respected uh, considerations. Okay, so now we have to save this model, whatever the model that we have done for this particular structure. Now we have to close the eTab software. Now we have to do the detailing process in CSI detailing. Just I am opening my CSI detailing version. Click on the file option. Click on new detailing option. So click on the select your respected D, which is related to the uh, friction pendulum system model. Initially the model will be open in eTab software. Then after that it will be directly imported to CSI detailing can see it was importing the data which is concerned as the frame section then after that it will import the data related to the uh, shell sections. Porting process is done we need to do some of the uh, specifications related to the IS coder selection and uh, spacing selection okay. Click on the uh, detailing units option select as per the SI 25 section and rebar weight will be in ton section and select this respected force will be of kilo newton and uh, select this respected length and uh, all will be of millimeter click on ok then after that we have to click on the select preferences use standard preferences option select as per IS456-2000 click on ok click on the concrete detailing preferences you can select the beam option 2 let us consider B again column option 2 let us consider C again select the wall option 2 let us consider W option ok click on ok option then after that click on the concrete preferences option you can select as per your consideration you can click on the rebar rules option here. So select this uh, respective property of the minimum spacing option is let us consider 120 maximum will be of 450. Again select this uh, minimum spacing option is let us consider 120, 120, 120 and maximum will be comes under the 450 value and this is the 450 value, this is the 450 value. Select the column, select the minimum spacing option is comes under this 120 value, maximum spacing option is comes under 450 value click on ok option again we have to click on ok option so that it will start detailing for the building structure under consideration you can see it was done with uh, uh, designing process so click on the full floor framing plan 
click on the rebar plan option so this is the rebar plan click on the top rebar plan this is the top rebar plan bottom rebar plan so all rebar plan option select the section a option again the same process select the section b this time selecting directly rebar kgu option okay so that it will show you the complete diagram which is comes under the rebar valleys which is related to the top top reinforcement bars and bottom reinforcement bars for the slab okay in the same process you have to select the beam detailing concrete beams option elevations and section select any one of the story this time selecting 11 b1 this time selecting a okay this is the beam section reinforcement 8a 8 b again select the c option this is the d okay directly i'm selecting reinforcement cage view option okay so this is the reinforcement cage view for the particular structure under consideration in the same process we have to select the column detailing option select the column preferences select the elevation option this time selecting c1 this time selecting a option now you can see this is the column reinforcement detail for the particular section okay in the same process i am selecting rebar cage view option okay so that it will load the rebar cage view for the particular structure with the help of the considerations of the uh, friction pendulum system for the building okay due to the presence of the friction pendulum system the reinforcement complete reinforcement value diagram is showing here like this okay which is comes under the g plus 10 building structural model okay in the same process you can load the remaining rebar plan for the particular structure with the help of the uh, friction pendulum consideration okay so this is a complete process of uh, analysis and designing of uh, g plus 10 building structural model with the help of the friction pendulum system by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you